All right, so this is this is my new Ranger 521R. So I got a new boat coming out of the Flippin' Arkansas factory where the legendary Ranger factory. Um, I'm excited. So uh, I've got about maybe 30 minutes on this motor so far. So uh, it is literally, it's been on in the, on the water one time for just a short amount of time, but um, just finished getting it wrapped. So check it out. We're gonna do a little walkthrough on the new Ranger Mercury. This is it. All right, we'll start up front. Um, all right, so I ran the 520R last year and that was the best performing Ranger I've had. I absolutely loved it. So. I'm excited to run the 21 this season just for the fact that it got a bigger boat, get in the bigger water. We're going to some big lakes. Uh, and uh, when you get on the Great Lakes, you can't have a big enough boat. So the 21 footer is going to come in handy. Um, on the front right now, so this is the whole setup. Uh, I got the Ghost on here. And I'm running a 16 and a 9 on my Lawrence unit. So uh, depending on how I want to fish, uh, if I'm using Active Target, I really want a big screen. I'll put that on the 16. Uh, if I just, I'm just panning around and I want sonar, side imaging, everything, uh, I'll put Active Target on the nine. So that's uh, that's the front end bass boat technology mount on the bow. Uh, I run a little, I put a little power system up here to be able to run uh, my GoPro on a bow. But uh, that's the front setup, power pole. So it is interesting like how people, where people place their power pole buttons. Um, I wanna, I gotta get mine further away from me because I'm like a, yeah, I'm all over the board when it comes to standing on the bow of the boat. So I need to get the buttons pretty far forward so I don't step on them. Um, so as far as the boat, I mean, you can see the wrap. I mean, I finally got it, I mean, it looks like a Christmas tree right now, man. Look at this. It's like, you look at all the colors right here. Like, pow, 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 greens, reds, yellows. Uh, Why? it's, there's a lot of color. There's a lot going on in this boat. It is busy. And so if you do look, so I know you guys all saw the video I did about this white thing and being too much white in here. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to wrap the entire thing. So I just diffused it a little bit with a bunch of logos in here. So uh, now I just gotta carry a magic eraser of the boat uh, to keep it clean and wrap it all. All right, what else we got? I got my custom yellow wheels on here still. Uh, still waiting, uh, I'm going to rely on batteries this year. And so I'm waiting for my set of rely ons, lithium batteries, so uh, it's, uh, owned by Brunswick Marine. So Mercury is, is the only certified authorized cranking battery for Mercury that's a lithium battery. So I'll be running rely on batteries this season. Good old power pole. They got the eight foot black blades on here. They got the Atlas jack plate. Um, so I will say that uh, I'll be doing a video pretty soon is that uh, uh, for the first tournament, I will have a new surprise in the front of the boat. Ooh. Last year, I scratched my boat so bad uh, at some of the tournaments in Texas, Lake of the Ozarks. I mean, I scratched the heck out of my Mercury. I mean, it was trash. So I bought one of these covers this year to put on there just in tournaments. I think I might gonna trash it a little bit. Um, I've never run one before. I don't know if they stay on or they stretch out and they blow off, but. So in tournaments that I might get uh, a little roughed up, you got a motor cover. All right, what else we got in here? Um, I'm gonna hop in. So, if you haven't been in a new Ranger R series, these chairs, I'm not a little guy. These chairs are like big recliner chairs, are huge. Um, but on the bow, I'm just running a single 16 this season. And last year, I had everything set up to run a 12 on there and I never used it. And so I'm trying to simplify a little bit and just keep a single 16 on the console. Uh, you know, I can do quad panels, so I can do structure scan, uh, mapping, sonar. I can still do all that on here. Um, a lot of times I'm usually a two screen kind of guy on, on it, but so that's it. I keep it simple. Um, 
Ranger's got all the touch ride, um, touch pad system. So if you like computerized, you want to be modernized, you like the latest and greatest newest technology, that's it here. Um, what else? I don't know. This is, uh, this is, so, ah, here's a little thing I'm going to show you. All right. So I, I take out my, I take out the little center piece. Yeah, there's some extra parts that come into the storage system in the, in the Ranger. But there's this little shelf right here that exists that was like, how can I utilize that? So I took an old, I took a Plano spinnerbait box. I cut them down and screwed it in. Look at this. This is badass right here. So, um, yeah, now I've got the little storage container there, a uh, little bling there, and uh, I put my lure holders in here. This is it. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get this thing out here, and uh, I did catch my first fish out of the boat already, though, so that was good. And so, 521R Ranger 250 Pro XS Mercury. Um, Lawrence Electronics, I got all the bells, all the whistles, all the toys on here. Um, I got my I, it's, lockers are full of, I got push poles. I got Grundon's gear. Think of what else, I mean, it's like, I'm trying to think if I've done anything else. Look, it's like Christmas. I got a bag of reels that I gotta spool up. Um, got all my GoPro stuff in here. Yeah, I love it. What else? Boots, Grundens, I got my granny pants, green gear, hats. I don't know. So this is I'm trying to think if I've done anything different this year. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Secret. No. New stuff coming. Alright, anyways, that's uh that's my new Ranger. Mercury, so check it out. Oh, look at this. That looks a little black and yellow and white now. Hope you like it. I like it. I'm ready to go put it to work and jack some fish out of this thing.